Hey everybody, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing a iPod unboxing. I bought the iPod Classic 5.5 generation. So it's not the 5 generation, but it's like the little upgradable one from that. I had a bunch of credits on my Mercari account, so I got this for free on Mercari because you guys have been using my link. So I'll put a link for Mercari down below. That's where I get all of my used electronics. That's where I sell all of my stuff. And it's amazing. It's not sponsored or anything. I just love them. So I got this iPod because I want to start using an iPod again. Kind of tired of using my phone for everything and I kind of want to be able to listen to music without using my phone. And um, when I was younger, I wasn't able to afford an iPod. And now that I can, why not? This is the iPod. It is in this little box right here. I also bought some accessories for it. So I am going to just go ahead and show you guys the accessories first. Um, I still have a couple of more things coming that I'll show later in the video. I bought like an iHome and I also bought some cute like external accessories for it too that I'm just waiting to come in the mail. So here's the stuff that has come already. So first we have the basics. We have just a plain clear case here. This is an old system. I wanna keep it as pristine as I can even though it's used so it's still not in perfect condition but this was the only clear case that i could find i'll put a link for it down below i could only find this one uh, so it was really hard to find just like any cases for this thing and then next i bought some wired earbuds all of my earbuds are wireless because i use airpods so i needed to buy some that had a wire on them and i also wanted to get them where they had sort of a like early 2000s aesthetic so i got some colored ones. It was back in the day with the mp3 player that I had. I think it was like a sand disc or something like that. I used those like gummy headphones and those really sucked but I was gonna try to get those because I just wanted to feel like I was a kid again but I couldn't really find those anywhere. I don't even know if they still sell gummy headphones. And here are the earbuds. They just remind me of the early 2000s. They're just like these really pretty purple colors. They also came in like pink and blue. I'll put the link for them down below. Hopefully they work pretty okay. So those are the accessories that I've gotten so far, um, but stay tuned for the rest of the video. I have some really super cute accessories coming in the mail. All right, let's go ahead and open what everybody has been waiting for. I hate when people use packing peanuts. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my gosh. This is in really great condition. I was not expecting it to be this nice. It didn't say in the description of the listing that they, um, upgraded the like case of this iPod. It did say that they upgraded the battery. So I did get this from a seller who upgraded the battery. In the future, I've watched a lot of videos and stuff on like how to upgrade these iPods, like the hard drive, the memory, the case, like I know how to pretty much upgrade everything. So I think in the future, I may upgrade this to like a different color and make the back a different color. There are just a couple of little scratches on the back, you may not be able to see, you can see me. There's a little bit, but not much. I mean, it is used and honestly, I, for a system that came out over 10 years ago, honestly, I think it's even longer than 10 years ago. Um, this is in really great condition, so I'm actually super happy about that. I love the click, it's just bringing me back. My dad had one when I was younger that I was not allowed to touch, obviously, because it was expensive. So it's just bringing me back to watching my dad use his iPod. <laughs> and they also included the charger as well. I don't know if this is like an OG iPod brand charger, but it should work nonetheless. So I do need to make sure that it turns on before I start decorating it and stuff. So let me just hold down the middle button here. There we go. The screen is like super dim. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <gasps> wow, it literally just turned right on. The reason it wasn't letting me, I guess because this was turned on hold, but I don't even know what that means because I don't even remember. And then the earphone jack here. See if there's any music on it. 
Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the person I bought it from cleared everything out. It's really easy to put music on these iPods. I'm just gonna basically do the same thing that I did back in the day. So as you can see, I got the 30 gigabyte one. 30 gigabyte iPod can hold like 7,000 songs, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, but like I said, in the future, I would love to upgrade this from like a mechanical hard drive to like a flash hard drive, because it's pretty easy to do. Um, and then I can like, put tons and tons of songs on it. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep it kind of stock and I'm going to put my own music onto this with my computer, which I will show you guys. Okay, I looked up how to turn this off and you just hold down the play pause button to turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and start decorating. Okay guys, now I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to put music into your iPod. So you open iTunes on your computer, you can do this on a Windows computer. You're going to plug your iPod into it, and your iPod is going to show up over there. Once that pops up, you can start setting it up, you can name it whatever you want. So as you can see, I'm just syncing it here, choose all the settings that you want to choose for your iPod, and everything is set up. So then you're going to want to go to YouTube or any music downloading website and you're going to download the music that you want. So for example, I'm using YouTube, so I'm gonna copy the link for the YouTube, then I'm gonna to go to a YouTube to MP3 converter website. These websites are kind of sketchy, I understand. Just don't click all the random ads and stuff that pop up and you'll be completely fine. I've been using these websites for years. It'll download onto your computer and then like these little things that pop up right here, just exit them out, don't, click, don't even look at them and then drag the downloaded music into your iTunes and you have your music there. I'm currently editing this video and I realized I forgot to kind of show you guys some other little things that you can know. So here is my iTunes here and these are all the songs that are on my iPod. So I have to manually put the art of every single album manually. So what you do is after you upload a song, you do have to edit it because it's going to just file in just like the title. So you're going to click get info and you're going to type the title, the artist, the album. You can fill all of this out if you want. And then you can manually, their automated system that puts in artwork is sometimes not accurate. So I just did it all myself. So you go over to artwork and you just add it from your computer and you just upload whatever art you want. It doesn't even have to be the album cover, so you can customize it however you want. And then when you press OK and you play the song, it will have it here and um, you can pretty much just download anything you want. I mean, I literally downloaded like hour-long piano musics, I downloaded lo-fi playlists that are like two hours long that I listen to while I'm like crocheting and stuff. You can pretty much download anything and it's incredible. Hey guys, it's a couple days later and I am here with my dogs and we are going to unbox a accessory that I bought for my iPad. I got this for $10 on eBay, really great deal. Um, of course, they're gonna start <laughs> licking each other. Um, so let's just go ahead and open it. I am super excited for it. I was going to buy the really popular Logitech speaker system that they a lot of people use for their iPods and I may still go buy it because it's not very expensive if I don't like this but then I saw this and I was like this is bringing me back to when I was a kid it's super cute and I I needed it so oh my god this literally looks brand new it still has like the pull tab on it. I don't know if it's 223 right now. I don't have my watch on. I believe it is. Um, it's either 323 right now or 223. Um, the date says April 14th, which I do believe is today. Um, you know, all the days are kind of mixing up to me. But this is a Hello Kitty iHome. It doesn't have 
the like charger in the top of it. I think that's why it was so cheap because you do use it by plugging in the iPod like this. It also looks like they did not include the cable to actually plug it into the wall. So I'm going to have to either see if I have one or purchase one. I'm pretty sure I have an extra laying around. So yeah, here's the iHome, all the buttons right here, and um, I will plug in the iPod and we're going to see what it sounds okay, like. Okay, so this iHome ended up not working. I got a refund and I bought the Legitech one, so I'll post a picture of that on my Instagram. So yeah, sadly the Hello Kitty one just did not work, so that's probably why it was so cheap. But here is me showing some of my playlists. I still need to put a lot of music on here, but I made it really nostalgic. I put Y2K music on there that I used to listen to when I was younger, and I tried to really customize it to myself. So I'm really obsessed with it. I've been using this for like two weeks now. I listen to it every day. I love it so much. And now it is time to open the accessories I got from Timu. This is not sponsored by them. Uh, I bought these with my own money. I'll put a link for them down below, and I'll also put my coupon code down below. These were each like 98 cents to $3. I got this chick one because I wanted to put my iPod in it, but then I realized that it wasn't big enough for my iPod. So I'll probably use it as like a coin purse or something for my bag, but I ended up getting another pouch, which you guys will see. Then I got this cute little just decorative thing for the charger. It was literally like 50 cents or something. I was like, you know what, why not? Let's just decorate the charger too because I'm extra. So that's what that looks like, it's so cute. And then here is the pouch that I got. So this is a like My Melody pouch. Um, it came in a couple different colors. It also came with a strap that I ended up cutting off because I didn't really want it. But it fits my iPod, my headphones, and my charger all perfectly. I love it so much. I put it in my purse, I carry it everywhere with me. I'm absolutely obsessed with this little pouch. And I also attached this cute little flower keychain on it because I wanted it to match and just be really cute and I'm just really obsessed with all of the things that I got for my iPod and I'll put a link for everything down below because I'm literally just so obsessed with it.